Hello everyone, it's Barb here, longtime professional home care personal support worker, union steward, and certified member and co-chair of the Joint Health and Safety Committee. When I first started making these videos, it was to address issues I was running into in the field. When COVID-19 exploded on the scene, I kind of moved away from there, but now I am returning to my roots with the series on PeriCare, and this is PeriCare Part 1. This is not a how-to video, this is a how I do it video. I'm going to try to make it so everyone can understand it. Not just healthcare workers, but family caregivers, because in a lot of cases, the family caregivers Caregivers are having their loved one plunked at home and they're not having things explained to them. They won't know how to do peri care properly because it was never explained to them. And that's where I come in. I will go in. I've educated a lot of people. And this part one is going to include some explanations before I move into the female anatomy. That's I'm making more than one because there's different anatomy, of course. A lot of the people I look after were born in a different generation and certain things were not talked about, such as this area. And if it was spoken of, it was with maybe specific people only and euphemisms most likely were used. So when I approach these uh, people, the first thing I do is get their permission. I've already gotten permission for the sponge bath or the shower, but this is a special thing. But getting, here's where the euphemisms come in. I want to try to keep them comfortable because I'm going to be either helping them do it for themselves or do it for them because they cannot. So I will say things like, are you ready to have your undercarriage washed or you're down below or you're underneath or you're south of the border or you sit upon the farmers like undercarriage. They said, that's what we call the underside of the big equipment. And I didn't think they meant that as a double entendre, but it was pretty funny. I did not laugh, but in my head I was. So I get permission. And here's where we get into the female anatomy. The main part of cleaning down there is there are three, we'll call them grooves. The first two grooves, the left and the right, are where the legs come up to meet the torso. Then there is the groove I call up the middle. And that's where your openings are. Some people get the openings confused. So I've come up with a simple way to try to remember it. Just remember UVA, starting at the front. The first opening is U for urethra. That's where the urine comes out of. The second opening heading toward the back is V for vagina. That's where baby's blood and other secretions come out. The back hole is the anus, and that's where your poop comes out of. When cleaning this area, you must do it from front to back. Why? Remember, vaginal secretions, stool comes out of the anus. You can bring all that forward and give yourself either a UTI, urinary tract, infection or give yourself a vaginal infection of some kind. So you want to clean from front to back. When I do it, for the most part, it's when people are standing. Sometimes it's in bed and it's a little bit different, but essentially the same. And the way I do it is I clean the outside grooves first. I'll say, okay, I'm just going to get up on this side. Okay, now I'm going to do this, explaining as I go to keep their comfort level. And then I say eventually, okay, now I'm going to do up the middle and very delicately because it is a tender area down there. The other main thing to remember is drying. You must dry because you're dressed and it's warm, it's moist, that's where things can go wrong. If you happen to wear a brief, never call it a diaper, it's a product or a brief. That makes things worse because they're designed to not leak and there's a layer of plastic or some similar thing which holds everything in. If you're encountering it a bowel, it holds that against your skin and everything that comes out of you burns. So you want to make sure all that's cleaned off and you're dry. If I notice any redness, I will mention it to them. If it's a mild redness, they may say, you know, petroleum jelly or I might recommend petroleum jelly. Uh, you never put powder down there because you can end up with issues that way. Anything worse than that, I will tell them and then I I will suggest you talk to your nurse or doctor. It may be as something they need to look at in order to fix it. They need to know what it is, all the while maintaining their comfort and dignity. I think that's everything. I'm going to continue on to the next one, which is about the male anatomy. So stay tuned, stay healthy, stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll see you on the flip side.